Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. I've got some funky plans today. My two pounds of sugar and coffee. Mm. <clears throat> so what am I doing today? Well, main plan today is to demonstrate or try to demonstrate taking files from the song that I was been building the past couple of days and take those files and put them on my Apple iPhone in GarageBand and do some editing with the features that are in GarageBand that I don't have or are less user friendly in the Magic's Music Maker. Uh, one key feature I'm thinking of specifically is um, the, the loop table, the live loop table. Instead of using a guitar track, the whole length of the track, um, I know there's a rhythm part that I'm not happy with, the way it aligns with the drums and this and that, but there is a section here or there where it's it fits, it worked. Um, trying to follow the drums, I play the riff a little different every time. And it was messing with me trying to uh, write it on the fly and make it work and but there is a spot that I think that worked with the timing of the drums and so I'm gonna try to isolate that section and hopefully set it up in that loop table and use that good section for the entire track instead of all the variations I did on that one take um, and if that's any success and we'll do the same with some of the other the, the rhythm the, the, the slower parts and this and that we'll grab a piece of it and put it in there and we'll try to piece this song together more like a, a live loop mix or we'll utilize that mix table to help us write the track um, and I've also I'm desperate for audience participation <laughs> okay um, I know I, I jump on here live at random times so God only knows when I'm gonna be here and when you're anybody will be there to see it or even catch it live but I have a little incentive. If you dare, rather than hope you jump into the live comment section and interact with me and I can talk to you and chat with you back and forth, whatever, I have an idea. See, here on StreamYard, you know, powered by StreamYard, Let's, uh, let me just do something real quick, because I'm going to give a shout out. I, I love this. I don't pay for it yet. I'm still learning the trade, I guess you could say. So I don't want to invest in something I might not take seriously. But for now, oh, look. Wait, it won't let me. I just want to give them a shout out. Oh no, what did I do? Wow, I didn't know I could do that. Again, learning. I don't understand why it won't let me. Oh, that's not the one I'm looking for. 
it's this one. I'm clicking the wrong one, that's why. It's already there. That's the one. <laughs> the uh, Powered by Live with StreamYard. So, just a shout out to this. If anybody is into streaming or whatever, you ought to try this. This this works pretty good for live. I'm, I'm impressed. I have other software that you can record in a similar feature with the picture in picture and the screen share and all that crap, but it's not live. So this is kind of cool. I've, I've been doing this for a little while now, and I'm liking it. So thank you to StreamYard. Now, again, the challenge to you, if you're there and if you dare, rather than commenting... Um, I challenge you to come on the show, be a guest, and talk with me, like video chat, and with the audience. How do I do that? You say, well, I could wait for someone to be interested and send them an individual invite and blah, 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 which I, I need their email. Then I thought, why don't I just make this a public shout-out? So here is your invitation. Right there. You go there, use that link. And you should get some confirmation information, blah, blah, back and forth. But, you know, I believe you can grab this link and I can using your phone, the camera, you know, just like the uh, FaceTime and all that crap. Join the stream with me. So, open invite. Anybody feels like being on today's show. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird, I know. It's probably no interest at all, but I'm going to put it out there because why? You guessed it. As I can. Or at least I think I can, and I want to try. So help me out. Let me try something new. Join me. Experiment with me. But anyway, to this show at hand. Like I said, we were working on a tune. Um, let me move this one out of the way for now. I think I can do this without crashing stuff. Okay, so, <clears throat> gotta load the song, let's go find it, oh, I don't have to do that, what am I doing, eh, it's down here, what was it, <sighs> May 25th drum, no, let's go full screen, for starters, a bit bigger, a little bit bigger. All right. Now it's the 25th, the original one. So I made it in a separate file, experimented with the drums, got it to work, copied and pasted the track onto this file, and started building. So here, up here, if you can see my little cursor. I ought to change my cursor size so you can see that on the screen better. Um, that track is the drum track that I transferred over. Um, so all I'm gonna do basically is save each of these file, each of these tracks. Like the drum track, I only need, what is it, four bars, the, the, the one loop. And I'm gonna do the same with all of these guitar tracks, I'm going to separate them into separate tracks, save them, transfer them, and then rebuild this so in GarageBand, hopefully. So, how, what am I going to do? Well, first of all, let's see if I can make copy of this entire thing so we're gonna copy 
Now let's open a new. Don't save. We didn't change anything. And now, can I paste that onto this one? I certainly can. Yes, sir. Now we can mess with it and not screw up the original one. So, what I want to do... I don't know if you can hear my neighbor's dog barking. It's like they have a damn kennel next door or something. Those little chihuahua things, dude. Man, those things make so much freaking noise. highlight the, all of this except for the last the first one the original one and I'm going to delete it so now I'm gonna mute every single track but, but that drum track and I gotta set the start and stop marker so I, I don't want friggin' 50 bars of silence to delete after I transfer this file. It's four bars. Bingo. Now we need to save it. We're gonna save arrangement as transfer test we'll call it transfer test May 2023 I gotta get better at labeling stuff because I have like 15 files that say new one new two new three <laughs> I gotta get better at organizing my file systems here so we'll say that, okay, bam, now we can come back to this one and screw around. Now, what I want to do is save it as a wave. And what it's going to do is save only this unmuted four bars. So, file, and now we're going to do export as a wave. You can do MP3, OOG. There's all kinds of formats here you can mess with. You can even do video on Magix, by the way. But we're going to do a wave because we want this thing interchangeable. A wave is like the most basic that I know of that like everything can play. God, VVSC says only export the range between start and end markers. That's why I made this uh, four bars up here at the top. And we need to name it. Uh, change the name. Because I don't want them all to say transfer test, blah, 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 blah. We're going to say this one was, all right, this is the drum track. So we're going to call this song <coughs> Wide, what did I say in my Facebook post? Wide Road Boogie. Okay. Wide Road Boogie. Drum riff one. And it's going to go on my desktop, I believe. So I can find it. Yes, desktop. Okay. So it says right up here in the file location desktop. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Magic's loops. Why is it Magic's loops? Must be something. Must be a folder on my desktop I already created in the past. Let's just uh, get rid of that part of the file name. So it goes to desktop 
and right to that. Yes, so the file will be on its own on my desktop. Easy to find. Okay. So let's hit OK. And of course, Windows Media Player is going to open automatically. I don't know how to stop it from doing that. <laughs> So there, now, it should be on my desktop, it's, it's probably not on, not on that side, of course. Put that back up. So let me move this out of the way, see my phone's still at the ready. Minimize the uh, stream yard so I can see. Oh yeah, there's the magic loops folder. I deleted it from the file name. Where is the file? Where is the file? There it is. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna drag it to this side. Put them all over there. So when we get ready, we know what we're doing. So there's the wide road drum riff one. Let's move this back out of the way. And let's open Magix back up because we got a few files still to go. Bam. Alright. And I'm going to open my stream back up because I like to see what the hell I'm doing. Make sure it's going. What the hell? Uh oh. Oh. No, I don't want to open. There we go. That was weird. Anyway, I got it back. Okay. <laughs> um, so there, we've done the drum riff. This first riff up here, it's like the original from the first stream where I failed at recording the drums. And... I ended up not using that when I progressed and I made a whole new one. This one right here, nice and long. So we're going to mute the drum. going to unmute that. And now i got to stretch out start stop markers. I could isolate the good part that I wanted to uh, edit, but I'm going to do that, I think, in GarageBand instead of in here, because it's somewhere, it was over here, I think it sounded really in sync, by the end I finally started syncing up with it a little better. And I think there was a full four bars where it was right on, and I think if I can catch that, I can loop it and make it seamless. I hope. Well, that's what, that's, that's the goal. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be another export. As a wave. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let me change the name. Wide road boogie main riffs. Okay. Okay. And it's gonna open Windows Media. Alright. Now, let me see. Can I move this? There we go. Let's see. The screens are so wide. Oh, it won't go smaller. Okay. Minimize all the way. Grab the file. Drag it to the screen you can see. Bingo. Uh, <laughs> you can see. 
There's my stream here. Oh, look, it's going to do the ult infinite mirror effect. Ooh. That's what I'm looking at when I'm doing this stuff, by the way. So, and just a reminder, you know, that uh, link that I'm scrolling on the bottom, that's an open invite. If you want to join this stream and video chat while we work together, you can talk to me, give me ideas, help out, collaborate. <clears throat> I've had a few people mention the possibility of collaborating. That's something I'm not savvy with. I'd like to learn, and you know, so I'm not opposed to trying to figure out how. All right, so now I believe this was a bad take of a lead. And this was the second take. It was good. And then this one was good. This one was good. And this one's actually my favorite. I, I <laughs> That was a pretty cool riff. Let's unmute. I want to hear it. Solo style. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that one. Anyway, so... Here comes the fun part. I need to isolate all four of these. So, <clears throat> we'll just use the start and stop marker. That'll be the, I think, the easiest way. Everything else is muted. Okay, so let's do the first one. Let's get it. Oh, right on the money. Okay, now. Drag the start and stop to the red line. Actually, I don't need all that blank space, do I? Go right there to the end of the riff. Fourteen bars. And there's a blank spot at the beginning, too. Let's see if I can just drag it. Right there. Yeah. It's 14 bars. It's an even number, anyway. I think I can still eliminate a few. Get rid of some of that silence. Let's, let's zoom in and have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Let's... Trim this down to here. I'll zoom in a bit more. Get a little finer tuning. Yeah. And put that on there. Oh, it won't let me. Why oh, won't it let me? It's gonna be a cock. All right, we'll we'll trim that out in GarageBand too. Uh, you know what? I was worried about losing its place and everything, but this is a duplicate file, so screw it. Um, I got an idea. Zoom in and just edit the original. I didn't need to minimize it, but 
whatever. Let's clip it right there. And delete the empty shit. And zoom out. Yeah, this is going to be a while. This is uh, the tedious part of studio work. The part that gets me all discouraged because it takes forever and I lose my creative vibe. I just want to sit down and friggin' record, jam, just, you know, you know? And this is the crap that takes forever. Forever. I don't know if that first bump right there is just noise and it actually starts here. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm editing the wrong one anyway. No, I'm not. I was just looking at the wrong one. Okay, the second one up from the bottom is what we're trimming. So yeah, it would be right there. Yeah, yeah. There's the beginning. We'll call that good. And we'll cut it on that line. And delete that crap. Now, we can drag that to the beginning. Like I said, we don't care about alignment in this file. This is the uh, cannibalized file. Oh, I did the wrong one again. That is the wrong track. Yep, that's the wrong one. That was the bad take. You know what? And the confusion. I should have seen the mute. That's the one I'm working on. The unmuted file. Yep. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I swear. Spent years on this friggin' program. Some of my friends have even hung out with me and recorded on this program. I used to have all that posted on YouTube, but I cleaned that up and was doing just my stuff after a while. Then I started gaming and stuff disappeared in all the gaming videos. So then I made a new gaming channel and I friggin' spent days downloading all my game videos and then re uploading them to the other channel. <laughs> OCD. And it's still not friggin' clean enough for me. I'm. Ugh so disorganized what am I doing I want to end this one yeah that's about good so we're gonna cut the end and delete the shitty one the empty shit alright now there's a good clean clipped no dead silence no noise how many bars is it actually nine point two bars it's an odd number point two all right so now we'll export this. We're only doing the start and stop marker, so all these other tracks on that line won't be part of it.
export wave rename it wide road boogie does anybody get the uh, little the pun or joke with my title a wide road boogie If you were watching one of my streams, I started doing a little bit of vocal. Had a vocal idea that fit the uh, one of the rhythms about going straight to hell, i.e., the wide road. <laughs> anyway, so we renamed it Wide Road Boogie. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's the song. But what is the file? Wide Road Boogie Lead Riff 1 There we go. Now save that. Yes, Windows. Windows has to friggin' verify that I don't know why. project would be the second lead which is on another line for some reason uh, 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 do the same thing we'll trim it out clean it up uh, zoom in more get more precise Precision. Hit the cut icon and cut it. That's one thing with this. You got to remember you have the cut icon because now if you go, you want to select this one because right now the file is highlighted. We want to highlight the empty space to delete it. So you have to click on it. Well, if you still have the scissors and you click on it, oh, now I split it again. So you gotta select the uh, pointer icon. So that one's highlighted now because I already collect, clicked on it. So we delete that one, highlight this one, delete that one. Zoom out. Uh, redirect our zoom to this section. Right about there. Now the zoom will focus on the red line. And I'm going to cut it off right there. Because that looks like it's just noise from me hitting the strings to silence it afterwards. Put palm in the all six strings at the end. That's what it looks like. It's like the kid, the guy on the Matrix, looking at all the Matrix code. No, I don't see numbers. I I see blonde, brunette. I don't see waves. I see the noise, the the riffs, the breaks in the beat. We're gonna cut. Oh, I just got a yes to. I got a message on my phone. Good thing you couldn't see the screen because that's private. I'm going to have to put silent mode on, I believe, to stop that from popping up while I'm sharing, right? Anyway. If, if you just messaged me on Messenger... That means you're online, dude. Check out my friggin' Facebook page. See that I'm busy. And use this link streaming down here at the bottom. Scrolling along. Join the stream. Hit me up. G off. I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> G off. 
Um, anywho, so that's all cleaned up. <clears throat> now, we gotta get this start and stop lined up. Hopefully it cooperates. There's one thing I don't like about this program, that this uh, start-stop bar is really finicky. And sometimes it has, I think it has like um, sections, like the GarageBand has sections. You can split up your song into sections and work on each section at a time or whatever. I think this one has a section. It comes out with a couple of blue tabs up here. And like it'll play the between the yellow ones and then skip to the blue ones. But being so finicky, I've not fin figured out how to actually do it on purpose or how to make it work right. It's one of those uh, user-friendly issues that I was talking about that work better in GarageBand. And this old stuff has the feature, but GarageBand did it better. That's why I like using both, because they all have similar shit. Some work better than, you know, some on uh, Magics work better than GarageBand. Some on GarageBand work better than Magics. I gotta slow down on that coffee. I'm gonna have to take off and pee. Alright, so everything's muted except for that one. Start stop markers are lined up. We're going to export that one as a wave. We're gonna change the name. Wide road boogie lead riff two. Okay. Okay. Again, it's automatic. I'm sorry. I can't stop it from doing that. And we're just going to grab it from the screen you can't see, put it on the one you can. Now, the next one. See, it's so, so time consuming. I just, I want to play. I want to have fun. I want to be creating stuff, not friggin' clicking and dragging and snipping and copying and paste. Oh, I don't know if that little bump is noise. I'm going to say it is. I mean, it'd be easy enough to listen to it, but being zoomed in this far, it goes so fast, it's hard to tell if that noise happens when the red line goes by it. It's just so damn fast. But I think it's noise. So, goodbye. Zoom back out, find the other side. We're almost ready to start doing the whole uh, interchange to Apple. We're getting close. Be patient, folks. Be patient. I say that and I look up. There's nobody watching. <laughs> Got all the patience in the world. called Zero Fucks Given. Uh, like I said, my streams are so impromptu. Uh, if I did have a, any kind of loyal following, <laughs> they'd be ripping their hair out trying to friggin' catch all my streams. <laughs> I selected the crap at the end. Delete it. 
I get talking and forget where I was. I lose track of myself. Zoom back out. Alright, we need to mute the line we're not working on. Unmute the one we are working on. And move the start and stop marker. Which I must say is behaving quite nicely so far. Just want the machine to know that I appreciate that. I think the beginning was a little, there was a gap. I want to, at this the zoom depth, it's hard to tell. Yeah, see. Right there. And can I scoot over without zooming? Yes, it's just oh, oh, that one's off too. Okay. Oh, it doesn't move it with the end of the marker. The end of the mark is perfect. Screw it. That's that's lined up. Okay. So that one's ready. And this is what? Rift four? Three? Lead rift three, I think, right? Oop. Yeah, that's the third one. Alright, so export. I realize, like, a, a tutorial video, I should probably record all this stuff and edit all this stuff out and do, like, the friggin' uh, time-lapse of some of this crap with tedious, repetitive stuff. I just don't have the patience for that. Not today, not tomorrow. My road boogie. If I was really smart and hadn't moved the first, I can go back to the original, the original file and write down at what what bar they started at to help me line them up. Excuse me, coffee burps. Not exactly carbonated, so they come up kind of weird. Wide road, riff three, lead riff three. Da -da -da. get really froggy we'll hook up the eye rig oh I don't know if I can do the eye rig and the screen share that's one of the issues I'm having I want to be able to do the screen sharing with my phone and still plug instruments in wait no, the screen share is wireless. It's the file transfer. That's why I'm plugged in. Maybe we can hook up the iRig and um, maybe add some bass. Play the bass directly into the uh, garage band instead of fucking with magics. All right, let's zoom in and make sure it's clipped good enough. I didn't even clip this one yet.
just gonna eyeball it. Bam. Delete. Readjust. Zoom out. Refocus. Zoom in. Oh, that looks good. I think I did the end. Okay. So, looks like we're ready to export this one. Which would be... Okay. Okay. Oh. That bothers me. Okay, so I believe we are done with magics. Yes, I'm gonna say yes. And I'm not even going to save this because this was the duplicate file. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Okay, get that out of the way. Um, move the last one over before I forget. And now, what's the next step? What is the next step? Bam! iTunes. I already took the effort to log in and get that ready. So there we go. What you gotta do, you gotta have your phone plugged in with a wire. This is not wireless. And go down here to file sharing let's I don't know if you'll see it any better no anyway file sharing you go down here to garage band let me minimize this again so I can find the files ta-da I'm just gonna grab all of them at once and drag them. I don't think you can put them in a folder at this point. See, it doesn't let you highlight which one. You just gotta put it in here. And then you can go on your phone and transfer them in the Files app to the correct folder. And see, they're already done. As soon as they're on that list, boom. They're on your phone. So we're all done with iTunes for the moment. Uh, now we need to see the phone. And that has crashed. Of course it did. Try to reopen it and it says there's nothing there okay well I guess we'll watch this process some of it's on the other screen you won't see it I'm gonna click the screen mirror click on the device I want to mirror to wait for a code to pop up Wait for a prompt to input the code to pop up. Okay. Now it's going to pop up on the wrong screen. Ta da! See, there's my phone. So let's go to the Files app. And we gotta find my 
again, my files are all a mess. Completely a mess. I'm looking for the wide road boogie files. It might not be in this folder too. I, I might be in the wrong spot. It gets confusing. Friggin' Apple file systems suck. The logic behind it, it just hurts my brain sometimes. I like the windows. You put something in a folder, it's in that folder, in that location. When you go to find it, all you gotta do is click on that location, and there it is. But Apple, no, you click on this thing, and look. It's nowhere to be found. Way too much crap in here. Oh my god. Now all the way to the bottom. And that was the wrong... So now I gotta browse. Show all. I guess it's going to be the garage band for iOS, which I think is where we were. And look, there's barely anything there. <sighs> where is it? It's on my phone. Right, I've got a couple different garage band folders. Wide road boogie. Okay. Found them. Now what? That's like the main rip. Where? Show all ten. Hold down on it. Uh, move. Garage band file transfer. think that's how we do this. Now the garage band file transfer folder is not up there. What the hell? Maybe it's automatically going to that because that's the one I selected last. That's what I don't like about friggin Apple. It's so hard to friggin navigate. It's better be right, because I'm putting them all there. Da, 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 da. Move. Move. Last one. Move. Move. Back. Now. Garage. No. Garage band. File transfer. Should be alphabetical, right? And it's not. There they are. There they are. <clears throat> All right, they're there so far. Now let's go to GarageBand. Yes, there's a delay with. Da -da -da. Add now in to add the files. We're gonna go to the mic vocal, wherever it is. Instrument, I think. Hit OK. Go 
here. No, that's wrong. I just want the regular mic. There we go. I don't want any of this crap. I want everything set to zero. I want it to only sound the way it sounded when I made it. Alright, so all that crap is off. I still screwed up. Hold on. I gotta remember how to do this the way I want to. There we go. That's that's what I want. A new live loop table. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> I've been trying to get back into magic, so refamiliarizing. Okay. I'm gonna do that manually because I got stuff that I don't. It it moves stuff on its own, and then I don't know where it was or where it went. Blah blah blah. Should be alphabetical. There we go. Wide road boogie drum riff. Okay. And then a lead riff. I think we're going to have to do that one and the other. And I'm going to put them in here just because we'll record them into the, uh, the other view from here. Okay, that was all of it. So, let's see. We got the drum. And the loop should be seamless. Bingo. And this one is the main long riff. See, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that one like three or four times and then I'm going to edit them and isolate the section of it that I want in each one and, you know, compartmentalize or individualize each section of that song. And then we can start building it because... <laughs> Wait, that's not the main riff. Stop. Stop. Oh, I screwed up one. Maybe I saved it wrong. Oops. Uh, 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 uh. Lead riff. Four. Lead riff. Lead riff. What happened to the main riff? There it is. That should be the long one. Yep. 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 So, let's see what I can do now. I can.
the lead riffs, I'm not going to use the loop table to mix them in. I think I'm going to record them off of the loop table individually onto the tracks view and then realign them back in the position they were once I uh, finish editing that main riff and get that cleaned up and then we can start re relocating the lead riffs back where they belong and god damn it you know what I said it, I shouldn't have been drinking so much damn coffee. No, it's not. Oh, yes it is. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna leave you with this while I go. here I guess what I really should do is find a couple more different drum riffs and throw in some changes for each of the sections well let's make the sections first I guess that would be the first step is to isolate and create the different sections in the main song body so, I want to copy, paste, paste, let's see, there's the slow part that I do the vocal sounding thing with, there's the boogie part. And then there's some sections where I experimented while I was trying to realign my ear with the tempo of the drum that I I want to find a riff to put in there. But for now, I guess I'm going to use them as like a random fill. I need to come up with another riff, but I want to find a different drum riff and then write a riff for that and swap them out. So what we're going to do first is find and isolate the bat 
there's an empty spot in the beginning and I kept it because it aligns with the drums if you start the drums at the same time it gives the drums a chance to do like a four bar intro before it kicks in so I'm not gonna delete that empty spot at the beginning okay so I think Oh, but if I leave that empty spot and make it a loop, we're screwed. We're screwed, we're screwed, we're screwed. I'm going to have to line it up by ear. Anyway, okay, so let's zoom in and cut out that friggin' empty spot. I think there was a little bit of noise first too. I think it starts right. The freaking wave is so small on this one. It's hard to determine where stuff is. And this one's cool because you just say cut. Oh, undo. That's not what I was looking for. Split. That's the word I was looking for. Split. You drag it down and it's cut. And then you can delete that. Now we'll move this over all the way. Zoom back out. Okay. This is going to be hard because doing the screen share, I'm getting a delay with the audio. This is this might not work out so well. I'm going to guess and say that it ended there. Delete the rest of that. And now it won't play. What? Oh no! No cancel. Where's the undo? There is no. There it is. Undo. Go back to this one. Edit. Undo again. Undo. Undo. Edit. Oh, one more undo. Alright, now it should be back. Oh, one more. I still got the split in it. Okay. Zooming in. I guess that first part wasn't noise. Alright. Split that. Now we can delete this. Zoom in. play. Come on. I want it to play in the edit feature. Oh, I really 
wish that wave form was more prominent, looked more like the one on friggin' Magics. I don't know why it did that. Why is this measured in... Oh my god. What? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is going on here? Oh, uh, you know what I didn't do? I gotta start all over again. Fuck. <sighs> Alright. Fatal mistake. Set the tempo to match what I recorded everything at. Da -da -da -da. Time signature. And the time ruler is off, so this should be showing up in bars, not time. <sighs> Alright. Let's try this again. Yay! The drum riff. And then the main riff, which is one we're going to be editing. And then the lead one. Lead two. I know what I'm doing. I swear to God. I swear I know what I'm doing. I'm telling you. It's... <sighs> it's getting harder for me to believe. Alright, we're editing. Zooming in. Oh my god. Now we'll split it. find the end of that room. That delay is killing me. to find out. We'll split it there. Cut that out. nailed it. And why is it set in time and not bars? It doesn't make any sense.
I messed up and I figured out how to fix it. Undo the delete. Undo the snip. Okay. Edit. Oh, that's not enough. But yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh huh. I don't want to move that. What the hell? Okay. Zoom in. working in bars of four so I'm gonna say 16 I don't want it point oh one I want it right on the money why can't I get it right on the line whatever Split that, delete that. Now going by the bars, if the beginning is right, it should stop at a their perfect tempo, the 16 bars. <laughs> Perfect. I counted. Did you see me counting the bar? 4-4. Four, four? And it stopped right when I... That was brilliant. So... It didn't... Uh, edit. Look at how... It's still like a hundred friggin' auto didn't work. Do, 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 do. 16 bars. Done. So it should repeat. <laughs> Why didn't it repeat? And it shortened it, but not all the way. It even says 16 bars. It's only 8 bars? Huh. Okay. So it's eight bars. So why does it say sixteen above it? Um, whatever. So I can go like this. Why 
Why did it skip out like that? What was that? up so far so good oh you know what I forgot to do I forgot to copy that main riff so I can edit more sections stop Stop. Okay, I think I got that. Alright, so now we gotta edit the second one, which I believe is the, the boogie woogie part that I'm trying to fix. This is why we're here, folks. Buckle up. Oh, and again, just a reminder, that link, scrolling by, that's an open invite to join my stream. So if you're still here and we're still live, freaking green screen. I need a green screen so my shit don't disappear like this all over the I hate that. I'm looking into getting some green screen paint for my wall and some green screen friggin' bedding for my seat. So all you see is me in the background and not all this other funky. Yeah. Alright. This is why we're here. We're gonna edit this one. The friggin' delay is driving me nuts. This is so hard to work with with this. It's almost like a four beat delay. It is pretty bad. Now, if I recall, towards the end, there was a section that matched the drums really good, and without the drums on it, I gotta find it. I might go back to Magix and look up the uh, the bar where it was. But let's see what we got. <laughs> That was it. With the delay and not having the drums to line. Oh my god. fucking the way I hit stop and the riff still go uh, like I think I timed it right and you can't really see any changes in that freaking waveform it didn't actually show me a freaking wave this sucks I think I might have to adjust the volume on it in magics in order to get a more pronounced waveform? I don't know. But... Shit. This is going to be hard. This is going to be trial and error. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm actually 
actually going to go back to this. There's a blank spot right there. You can barely see it. Zoomed in, it was going way too fast. should have done this part in magics. Alright, it started I think where I wanted it to friggin disappear. So let's delete that. Let's see what I got. too much of that other riff in there. So I think it's right there. Now I wonder if I can fix the beginning as well the same way. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, let's see if I can... Oh, I can. That's what I wanted. That round. Non destructive editing is cool. Oh, 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 it's I think it's gonna be right on the friggin' bar. Nice. Okay, now it's not a hundred bars. It's not six. It's not eight. Oh, shoot. It's not twelve either. What is that shaded spot? Why is it? No, 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 no,
13 bars, but now that looks like looks like there's a gap at the end. There's a gap. So it's not even, it's not going to line up. Let's get rid of some of this. Oh, what? You fucker. Let's get rid of some of the slide at the beginning. Oh, that's not what I meant when I said done. Now, is it 12 even? Please? Oh, I don't think it is. still some slide so I guess I gotta get rid of that I liked how it but I guess we gotta get rid of some more of that Is it still having the slide? Oh, I see it. I think I see it. I think I see the wave. And where? That's the end of the slide. That's the beginning of the riff, right? I think there's still a little too much slide. So, and it cuts off the end of the last note. So if I... Okay, let's try again. Shaded back there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on over here? What if I make it to there? Gotta be 12 in order to fit with the friggin' tempo. That can't be right. Uh, this 
still a little bit of that freaking first. So let's go to there. Still a little at the end of that. If I get that off, I can add back to the beginning that little zoom, right? And why won't it play from there? I hiya. Play from there. Thank you. I'm still friggin' at the end of that. I still haven't trimmed it all off. Too much. Now I took too much. Let's go two notches. What just happened? What the fuck? Now I gotta start all over again. I don't know where I was. I click here, hit play. Oh my god. It's all fucked up now. Freaking delay is driving me nuts. I can't work like this. fucking thing. I want to go to the beginning. Oh my fucking word.
when I hit stop, it doesn't because of the freaking delay. And this needs to be at the shaded line to be 12, right? Start up there, please. <laughs> not lining up the way I want. Let me just see something here. Now why did that start automatically and not timed?
with the drums and shit. Turn the looping off and make it a one shot. There we go. so that an extension at the end, that last note that rings out, doesn't throw it off by being a loop and taking the next time around out of tempo, because it's not a loop, it's just a one solo thing, so. That worked out pretty good. I started it halfway through the rip, it's still kind of sounding good.
see if they can make it progress to the next part like it does in the original. the gain on it because it seemed a little quiet. Let's try that again. crunch I didn't like it wasn't what I was expecting um I increased the volume of everything on that friggin line I don't know how that's gonna affect the first part <laughs> I know I'm gonna mess this up, but I don't like the timing with the drums, so I'm gonna mess with it one bar at a time. I think I did that right. Take a little off the end so I can put a little more in the beginning. up the end. I will get this. Now, 
a little different. Let's see if it matched up at all. I don't think it did. to line up better. Let's give it a shot. I like it. I'm becoming happy with that riff now. Oh my god. Now, why did the timing not work when I switched back over? Sometimes it like does the setup and pauses and waits for the alignment and sometimes it just starts playing the one I select as soon as I touch it that's not supposed to happen there's a setting you can change to make it do that but I don't have it set up like that hmm but yes so far those two were good the third one is for the fill-in riff And there's like two, I think there's two of them in the whole thing. They're both different. It's just me falling out of alignment with the drums. So I started just hitting a couple of chords so that I could refocus my ear on the drum and the timing and then get back into stuff. And I don't know if I like either of them, if I want to use them. Huh. Well, man, two hours, and I gotta say, I think we accomplished a lot. We, me, zero viewers, nobody to see the, uh, man, you missed your opportunity. You could have been on the show, could have shown me your face. I show you my face, where's yours? So, we did a lot, dude. We did a lot. We transferred all the individual tracks from a Windows based PC app, isolated them, tr saved them into the files on an iPhone transferred them to the GarageBand folder, then transferred them into the loops table and began editing and made it sound... So far, the parts that I've tinkered with sound better than the original take, if you ask me. I really like how I was able to turn that solo into a one-shot so it doesn't loop and I was able to tweak it and get it to line up good I know the second one in the original didn't line up good but that wasn't the alignment that was me playing out of time <laughs> so I, I, 
I'm on the fence about changing the alignment on that one because the beginning is off time, but once I got going, I was playing along with the time. So if I move it over and align the beginning, then the rest of it will sound out. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to have to experiment with it and tinker with it, but... For what I just did, I think it's pretty freaking good. I think this was a successful stream. We haven't finished by any means. I, I am nowhere near done with this song. I got ideas for stuff I want to record and, and add in, replace, like that the third uh, riff, the... the I got the two loops fixed on the main riff right now. The third one is for the random riff that I still haven't really made a, a permanent decision on what that riff is going to be. So I'm not going to tinker with that right now. I might uh, go back into Magics and try recording a few more and find something that fits the song that I can put in that spot. And we still got to uh, tweak the other solo lines there and make them one shots. But it worked. <laughs> the, and if there's audio on the stream, I have to go back and check. I'm pretty sure you can hear my vocal. I'm pretty sure you could hear the stuff on the Magix app. But God help me if you can't hear anything on the GarageBand on the iPhone after the fact. I'm going to be mad that I just wasted these two hours. But I am really happy. So, because in the original, I start the drums... And, and then, halfway through, the drum riff start. and going back to the friggin' the, the, I'm gonna call it a chorus the go to hell part you can go straight to hell and it fits right you can go That little impromptu idea of a vocal line, of a lyric, is the reason I call this Wide Road Boogie. Because it's the narrow path that leads you, and it's the wide road that we're all on. <laughs> Come boogie with me on the way down. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll do another one and continue working on this with you. Or maybe I'll just continue working on my own and show you the results. I don't know. I guess it all depends on the feedback, seeing so I have no live viewers. I'll have to wait and see what kind of reaction I get. But 
I am surprisingly impressed with the progress we've made. Granted, the audio worked on everything. Till next time, stay crazy.